Correct. And, and not only that, Sheriff Dupnick is now blaming the Tea Party movement, the Constitutionalists, and other people on radio talk shows that it's our rhetoric. And, and so he's basically telling America uh, and people in Arizona and his constituents who are Tea Party members, and there's a lot of them there, that you should be quiet and support your government so people like this don't get bad ideas from what you are saying. How absurd can you get? Unbelievable. I want to get into the move to shut down free speech, open legislation being proposed, the attack on the Second Amendment, and a lot more with Sheriff Richard Mack and more on Judge Roll. Uh, stay with us. I've got a lot more key information coming up. We'll be right back. We're doing a search term today so that it will lead people all over the Internet back to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com in our detailed article, Liberal Smear Machine Backfires After Gunman Found to Be a Cultist Pot-Smoking Left-Winger. And folks, you know I'm for drug decriminalization. I'm not bashing pot smokers. But the point here is, is that for mentally ill people, I've read the studies, it may help you if you've got cancer or glaucoma, I know it's got a lot of medical uses, but it is classified in the hallucinogenic area. And time and time again, marijuana does make schizophrenics, you can look it up, they recommend schizophrenics not use any drugs, but helps push them deeper into the psychosis uh, for whatever reason. It can also have positive psychological effects on other people, but you know, different things are different for everybody. Uh, you know, that's the old, you know, uh, stuff about opiates. Sometimes with Native Americans, you can't knock them out with that for surgery. They've got to use something else. It's different for every person. And schizophrenics, it is not the way to go. Uh, but, uh, again, it could be mind control, could be a schizophrenic. But we're doing the search term liberal smear machine. Let's put that in Google over and over again, liberal smear machine. And uh, let's also uh, do... Uh, the uh, headline, let, uh, let's fire another torpedo in the info war, gunman left winger. Gunman left winger. That's the second search term. So liberal smear machine and liberal left winger. Uh, sheriff Richard Mack, again, who was a sheriff down there and knows all these players. What is it like, because I, mean, I know you're doing the research, but I've seen all over the news that he was talking about killing people at college. The police had been to his house. Why didn't they execute a search warrant? Uh, why hadn't he been put in psychiatric care, or was he? We're not being told that. I mean, they're acting very suspicious. The sheriff won't talk about what they've got out of his safe, uh, and, and then won't say it's proof that it's right wing. I, I mean, you know, uh, this right. sounds like a lot's going on here when he's got a full bore black magic temple in his backyard. Well, I would like to first ask the sheriff, why aren't you going after the people who got him the marijuana? He wasn't growing his own. So let's find out who his uh, drug source was. Let's arrest them for being accomplices. And uh, maybe we should make laws uh, against marijuana. Oh, whoops. It's already against the law. He couldn't get marijuana. It's against the law. Uh, yeah, he was a pothead. He was a kook. And uh, we don't believe that he went to, that he was ever institutionalized. Uh, because uh, he was able to buy a gun just a few months ago, uh, and he had to do, a, a, obviously, go through the criminal background check from uh, the sports authority where he bought the gun. So uh, most of those, but again, some uh, mental, uh, mental history records are not immediately available to those kinds of checks, even though the FBI has tried to uh, increase those and put them on their list. Uh, those are a little bit more difficult to deal with, uh, even for the FBI and all their... Well, we also uh, know they're already technology. trying to use it against military veterans, so they're going to use it as a discriminatory, uh, uh, discriminatory system. I'd rather just sure. have the people be armed to defend ourselves from loons. Well, absolutely. And uh, the, the, the whole thing is uh, the leaders, uh, including Sheriff Dubnik and uh, our own Congress, are going to use this to take guns away from you and me uh, in, innocent, uh, law-abiding citizens are going to pay the price for this because they're going to come after us. Now, Arizona just recently, this might be another uh, uh, spoke on the wheel here of this whole story. Arizona just six months ago went to a constitutional form of Second Amendment uh, adherence. We no longer require permits of any kind. You can carry open or concealed. No money, no fees, no licenses, no permits. No asking mother may I. And that's Vermont style. You know, if this would have exactly. been a Republican rally, I'll guarantee yeah. you half the people would have been packing and he would have been shot down even faster. He wouldn't have got the second shot off uh, if the people I know in Tucson that are just the normal Tea Party groups 
and the gun rights groups, if any of them had been there, this guy would have never shot that little girl. Oh, makes me sick. And now they're going to try to use her murder to take our sacred First Amendment and Second Amendment. But her father, have you heard this, Sheriff Mack? I'll ask you when we come back in 60 seconds. World Socialist website is saying Arizona assassination spree tied to political right. Oh, really? Well, he was a favorite book, was a communist manifesto, and he liked to dress up like a woman, the Grim Reaper. It was called Very Liberal by his friends. I mean, just incredible. Sheriff Mack, I've got... Uh, the New American Magazine here in front of me. You know, this is linked up on InfoWars and Prison Planet. ATF plans registration in border states. Now they're trying to extrajudicially say uh, they want when people buy rifles for for it to be reported to the ATF, not just go through the NICS system, but the statistics I've read, most of the weapons being used by drug cartels down there uh, are, are, are being bought from the military themselves. They're, they're fully auto, and there's hand grenades and stuff. Yeah. All that's true, and I guarantee you that none of the things that they want to do as far as registration or more background checks or more uh, any kind of checks would have stopped this. That's why they have to take this, Alex, to the next level, and they've got to confiscate guns. That's the only thing that will have any appeasement to these gun grabbers. And, uh, boy, we better be watching out because this is uh, a direct hit at the Second Amendment. Well, I mean, regardless of who's really behind it, it looks staged. I mean, right. I mean, I've never seen them come out of the closet as tyrants. This, but they even want the First Amendment. They say anything that could be construed uh, as making someone else angry is right. going to be banned. That's right, and so that means they're coming after you. They're coming after me. They're coming after the Tea Party movement, uh, and it's it's really. Uh, an amazing process how these things are exploited and just as you mentioned uh, the little green girl's father said you're not going to exploit my daughter's death to promote your own political liberal agenda and especially to uh, go after gun con uh, more gun control what a great man yeah if one of my daughters was gunned down I'll guarantee you 48 hours later I, I, I would probably not even be able to talk uh, but you hear him break up and crack up, and it just tears my guts out. It, it does me as well. Uh, I've shed tears over this over the weekend several times, uh, especially uh, when I knew it was that little girl and especially Judge uh, John Roll. Judge, Judge John Roll uh, changed my life. Uh, a lot of what he did is what I'm doing now because of what he did and what he stood for and what he said is in my books. No, you and always what, talk about him. And in my presentation. You always talk about him when you're on the show. Every time. Every time. Yes. And a guy who likes to wear women's clothes and dress up like the Grim Reaper has killed him, and then we get to be blamed for it. Absolutely astonishing that they can make that big of a turn, but uh, when you get liberals who uh, will not comply with principles of freedom, who will not comply with their oath of office, who now read the Constitution uh, and then make fun of it afterwards, you know where this type of stuff can come from. Unbelievable. We're about to go to break. Long segment coming up. We're going to take calls. But any other uh, pieces of info you want to talk about dealing with Judge Roll? Uh, yes. Uh, on, on page two of my uh, little book, uh, he says this, and this is what I've quoted on your show numerous times. Fed I'm, I'm reading right out of my book. Federal District Judge John Roll, Mac is thus forced to choose between keeping his oath or obeying the law, subjecting himself to possible sanctions. He was really worried about the sanctions that were going after me. He protected me because they said in the Brady Bill that they would arrest me if I failed to comply or any other sheriff. And so Judge Roll uh, stood up for me uh, in particular because I was the only one filing the lawsuit at that time. Isn't that interesting? You get this conservative uh, Democrat, uh, you get this federal patriot judge killed by this uh, ultra-liberal, and it's so convenient now the media gets to blame it on the Tea Party. Boy, isn't that convenient. That's very... And he's running around everywhere saying he's under mind control. But we're just supposed to ignore that, huh, Sheriff? <laughs> Yeah, let's just uh, don't look at the man behind the curtain. I'd like to know who his psychiatrist was. We'll be right back. Representative Carolyn McCarthy, whose husband and son were killed on that commuter train back in the early 90s, 
by that uh, other lunatic. It was done in an area where it's a, a victim disarmament zone. No guns uh, allowed uh, predominantly in many areas of the state, but 100% gun ban on that train. You notice these people love generally to go where it's a school or some other place where they know people aren't going to be armed. Uh, so they can uh, carry out their ghoulish deed. And as the culture and the media hypes it and hypes it, mentally ill people get the idea, well, I'll go commit suicide by waving a gun around on the Brooklyn Bridge, and the cops will come and shoot me. And that's what this guy talked about. He talked about his assassination, how the police would then assassinate him. But that didn't happen. This lunatic's now going to be in a supermax prison uh, for the rest of his life, and probably executed after a few decades of that. Uh, but McCarthy Reddy's gun control bill, and in her bill, she says, and we will not allow him to have an arsenal of ammunition like he had. So she says, not only will semi-automatic guns of any type be banned in the bill she's about to introduce, but she went on to say uh, that, 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 that he will not be allowed to have the amount of ammo he had. Uh, so I guess now having 18 rounds is a arsenal. Uh, I guess you get one bullet, uh, kind of like Australia, uh, Richard Mack? Yeah, um, I, I saw her comments. Uh, I've actually uh, debated her back during the uh, Brady Bill uh, times. Um, she, she is a woman who cares nothing about history. Uh, she cares nothing about uh, the rule of law. Uh, she's, she believes that uh, gun control somehow would have made her family safer. Well, they already had gun control, just as you mentioned. Extreme gun control. Uh, so the only thing, as we were pointing out earlier, Alex, that can take this to the next level is not more background checks. The only thing can be confiscation and complete uh, gun control, which means innocent, law-abiding citizens will not be able to get these. But anymore. then that doesn't work in Mexico. They've got a crime right off the charts compared to us. Absolutely. In fact, Mexico is a war zone, and citizens are not allowed to have guns there. No one is. And yet it is a war zone there. And, uh, in fact, the drug war has destroyed that country, uh, almost completely stopping tourism in the northern part of the area because people are afraid to go down there anymore. Well, here's a quote. Here's a quote by work. McCarthy. She says, um, she says that... My staff is working on looking at different legislation fixes that we might be able to do to, to introduce as early as today. That was yesterday. She said tomorrow. Uh, she goes on here to say that uh, many said that people with a history of mental instability, like the alleged shooter, Jared Lee uh, Loeffner, should not be able to buy a gun. Well, I mean, how do you know beforehand? And no one should be able to buy stockpiles of ammunition used by the 22-year-old assailant. He had 18 rounds of, well, so that's a stockpile now? What does that mean? <laughs> it means you and I are in trouble and other law-abiding citizens. We are the ones that they're going to attack. Uh, th this is uh, something that they are loving to exploit what this was for their own gun control liberal agenda. And that's why I told my son, I know darn well who this shooter is because this is something that they had to have happen. We got a lot of phone calls here. We're going to continue with phone calls right through uh, Larry Pratt coming up in about 30 minutes. Uh, and we're, I'm going to go into the fourth hour today as well, make sure we get to everybody because I've got a lot of other points uh, that I haven't made yet. And I want to speak directly to the gun grabbers uh, coming up uh, briefly uh, in the start of the next hour. Uh, but right now, I'm going to hurry through these. Question or quick comment for Sheriff Richard Mack. John in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. You know, Australia, Canada, and Britain, Britain used to have the same gun rights we did, but because of the same uh, cookie-cutter, lone, deranged gunman, uh, now they lost all their rights. And not only that, they have uh, free speech restrictions there now, too, where you can't say certain things or they put you in jail. They're almost uh, what I call soft-core communist police states. And that's what the globalists have really got uh, designed for this country. they got to have gun control. We're the last country besides us and Switzerland are the only two countries where they have free access to the guns, so they got to have an excuse to get them out of our hands. And a few years ago, they had a psychiatric patient go into one of their state governments and kill a bunch of people. I mean, how many times do we have to see this repeat itself over and over and over again? It's very suspicious. Uh, anything else, John? 